Hey, hello YouTube. Uh, okay, this is going to be a, a tag video. I got tagged by a great YouTuber called um, Xfile2708, uh, Marcus. Um, so he tagged me in his latest video, and uh, so I'd like to thank him for, for doing that, because um, I always appreciate when you know you get tagged, because you're getting mentioned on you know, such a, a great YouTuber's channel. Um, so let's go ahead here. This is quite hard actually. I find this quite hard to um, put down because you've got your, your five favourite um, characters, gaming characters, five favourite games, and your five favourite systems. And I believe that's what the, the tag is. So um, I did struggle a wee bit and I did change some of it um, when I was writing them down. So, um, okay, let's start with the systems. Um, in fifth place, it's going to be the PS3. Um, I've only had the PS3 for a, a wee while. I've never been a big Sony fan. Um, I've always preferred other systems, so because it's quite a new system, you know, I've got it. It's a great machine, and um, you know, and everybody knows if you've got one, it's you know, it's wireless capabilities put in already. It's got a Blu-ray player. All these are pluses, um, and it doesn't seem to be the um, the same amount of system failures you do with the 360. But it's in fifth place for me. And fourth place would be um, the Mega Drive. Um, you know, hours and hours and hours of fun on the Mega Drive with that, but that's in fourth place. And third place would be the Xbox. The Xbox um, was the first system that I had online play, although I had, I did have online play with it in, in, in my PC but one game but then I only had dial up and it was really slow and frustrating um, so when Xbox came along that's when I got the broadband and that's when truly first online play and it was just magical um, so the Xbox would be third place second place would be the Xbox 360 um, because of the Xbox started the online play I actually um, joined a, a website because my favourite one of my favourite games is Pro Evolution Soccer, and uh, when Pro Evo Five came out for the Xbox, it was online for the first time. So a website came up, um, and they started online leagues. So I ended up joining that, and that became the biggest setup on the net for um, for leagues. Um, so I was a part of that, and I was a big part of that website. So that's tied on the Xbox and it contained with the 360, so that's why, you know, the 360, and I, you know, I love the online side of the 360. Um, you know, I had hours and hours of fun on the 360 with the, the I used to, like I said, I used to be in the Pro Evo Leagues, but then I used to play um, tournaments in the Tiger Woods, tournaments in the tennis, uh, I used to be part of the John Madden League, uh, I used to be part of the Ice Hockey League. Um, and when you're playing, when you're set, playing in a set up league, it's just so much better because you know you've got the rules and that you're talking to each other, you know, and you've got the respect with each other because you're part of the the website. So the 360. Um, my favourite system of all time is the Nintendo 64. Um, I just you know the the jump from 2D graphics to 3D graphics. Um, I just thought it was outstanding. Even today, when you look at some of the games, they still, to me, they still look good. Nintendo 64. And at the time, I, I had, I seemed to have a lot of money. I was at, I remember going to college then, and um, you know, when you got all your bursaries and loans and all that, so I seemed to have a lot of money. So I was able to spend a lot on the Nintendo. And I think that did make a difference, you know, because I did get to play other different games. So there's my systems. Five different characters, which is hard for me. Because um, my favourite types of games are, have really been sports games right from the beginning. I'm just I'm a big sports fan. I love all different types of sports, and um, I love sports games. I just um, I just always love it. So you know a lot of the games I played were sports games, and even though they got gaming characters, but you know I wrote something. You know if I was ever out in you know whatever, and I saw these wee plushies, and I've got a few of these already. I would you know I would pick them up and buy them. So fifth place, Donkey Kong. Um, that's really because of the Donkey Kong 64 game, Diddy Kong Racing, these and that. Fourth place would be Link, character Link, which we all know from the, the Zelda games. Um, and as you know, I remember playing the Nintendo 64 Zelda game, which you know I played for 
months and months. Third place would be Yoshi, and I think he's one of the favourite characters you pick when people play Mario Kart. Um, but also the Yoshi games, you know, the Baby Mario and Yoshi games, so they're good. Second place um, would be Sonic, you know, iconic character. Um, and obviously the Sonic Dunes for the Mega Drive era, um, which, you know, a lot of people in Britain kind of grew up in because, you know, well, we know that, that a lot of people in Britain had a Mega Drive rather than a, a Super NES. Um, so Sonic was the main character, but my favourite character has to be Mario. Um, you know, I just love the character Mario, um, really just from the Nintendo 64 days. Um, and so, games which I struggled with, but I picked games that I seem to um, you know, have a lot of time with and I spent a lot of time playing these games and they're not necessarily my favourite games right now because, you know, I think your minds change all the time um, you know, at this moment in time I'm, I'm playing through Fable which I'm totally loving so that would be one of my favourite games right now, but I've, I've tried to pick games that I spent a lot of time with when they when they came out. So in fifth place would be NHL PA Hockey '93, which was on the Mega Drive. I um, loved that game. I mean, uh, played it for hours and hours and hours and hours. I thought it was one of the best games ever for the Mega Drive. Um, you know, fourth place would be Red Alert 2 for the PC. Red Alert 2. I played that for hours and hours and hours and hours. I was hooked on Red Alert 2. Um, and even after that, I've, I've never ever found a game like that. I mean, I've got the, um, obviously, I've got the um, Command and Conquer Decade set, which has got them all in it. But I've just never found a game as good as Red Alert 2. And I've got Red Alert 3 for the Xbox. Um, and I think you need to spend a lot of time on these types of games, really, to, to get the strategy and, you know, to get to know the the tanks and what tanks are good against other things and you've got to spend a lot of time, I've just not got the time. Third place would be Sensible Soccer. Um, the first time I played Sensible Soccer was on the Mega Drive version. I hadn't played the Amiga version, I hadn't played it before that. You know, I've got friends telling me all about it when it came out in the Mega Drive, you know, why to get it and why it's the best game ever and why it's the most realistic football game there is. Um, I remember getting to the Mega Drive version and, you know, we would just have huge parties. Um, Sensible Soccer, fantastic game. Um, my second place would probably be, would be Pro Evo Soccer. Now, Pro Evo used to be ISS. Um, and that's, you know, I used to play ISS right back in Nintendo 64. I, used to, I played the PlayStation version and then Nintendo 64. Um, and then it, you know, the two companies they kind of split, so they made an ISS game, and then they had the Pro Evolution. So it was in PlayStation Two came out, so the Pro Evolution, and then they had the two, three, four, five. Number five was probably the best one, and that because that was the one that first had online play. Is that no? Four had online play, I think. But the connection was really terrible. Five, they got it sorted. Um, so five, to me, was the best one. Because it was number five that I started, I joined online leagues. Number one game would have to be Mario 64. Without a doubt, my favourite game ever. Um, <clears throat> the jump from 2D to 3D was immense. I think it still looks good. I think, you know, up until then I had a hatred for platform games. Um, I really, really did. I, I hate, I think what I hated, especially with Sonic, I had this kind of hatred of Sonic. Because I had it for the Mega Drive and I loved the game, but I hated having to start again from level one because um, you've not got any saves. So if you get to whatever a, a part in level four and you know you die in the boss and you've used up all your life, you have to come all the way back to the other level one again and you know in the three bits of that and then to get all the way back up to the bit where you got killed before and you know you might even get through that again. Hated that, so I never I hated platform games because of that. And then Mario 64 came along and you know you had these all these paths that were open to you so if you got stuck in one world you know you could come in and, and get into another world and do that for you have and come back and you would go back to that world that you were stuck on and something would click and you would get you know the star for that and so that's why I loved um, Mario 64. Um, so that's my tags, that's my tag video, that's my response. Um, <coughs> 
I haven't yet thought who I'm going to tag. Well, I've got a few people in my head of who I want to tag, but what I'll do is, I know um, if I do tag you, you know, there's no, it's like every, every time people do this, you don't have to do a tag response video back. You know, you're not obliged to tag other people. This is just a bit of fun. Well, thanks again for watching and um, catch you next time. Cheers.